Hey everybody, we're hopping right back into this with another episode. Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Left off on Zone 3, uh, Marble Zone. Really love this one. It's been a little while since our last video, so let's see how we do here. As I was mentioning, even if I don't manage to get all the emeralds, we will be seeing every level in the game. Just purely out of the fact that I can go back on it. As far as the Genesis games go, this is the only one that has its own built-in level select. Once you've beaten the game, you can go back to any level you want. Especially once you get the emeralds, all of them, that's pretty fun because you can just go back and do a supersonic or... After you've gotten 14, 14 of the emeralds, hypersonic is pretty awesome. Yeah, time to get a note of crack at this. Which one was I on? Oh, this one. Might as well try to get rid of these guys first. I think that was the problem I was having before. Simplest thing, too. I was trying to get fancy and jump over all of it, but then I just realized, why don't I just get that part first? Something almost therapeutic, I've mentioned it before about playing Red Sphere, Blue Sphere. It's definitely better, I think, than Sonic 2's uh, special stages. Mostly just because uh, it's not so bad if you're playing it one player on Sonic 2, but two player Tails can really mess up your Emerald stage, like, hype. Especially if things are going really well. Yeah, see? Look how easy that one would have been if I just remembered to get those little one-shot ones first. I might even have all the emeralds by now if that were the case. But we're still doing alright. I've tried to actually hit that guy enough times to take him out before uh, you meet uh, you meet him, but I, I think he has infinite hits unless you're actually in the boss fight. This really has to be one of the best things that Sega has uh, released on the PC. Their Genesis collection is just awesome. Yeah! Alright, let's see if I can do this. I had not played this game for about a year before picking it up again uh, for this Let's Play. And considering I used to play pretty much every day growing up, I'm surprised on how much of Red Sphere, Blue Sphere I managed to uh, remember. <laughs> Oh, sorry I got silent there for a little bit. This part can get kind of hectic. Two more. Oh, I just gotta find him. Where are you guys? Little blue guys. Where'd you go? That's not fun. I found him. Yes, I knew it. Okay, looks like we got Super Sonic. We're gonna open up the way for all the uh, Sonic and Knuckles emeralds once we get on done with the Sonic 3 stages. We're really on fire today. Yeah, that's what I love to see. Like any other Sonic game, uh, just getting 50, uh, whoop, that was good timing. Getting 50 rings and then uh, double jumping can turn you into Super Sonic. In fact, I might do that after a bit here if I uh, end up getting hurt. 
I don't usually try to get hurt. But uh, as I was saying, once you got all the emeralds, you can turn into supersonic, he jumps higher, he moves faster, he's invincible. He can still get crushed, though. Also, uh, as I said, you had to have 50 rings in order to activate it. And once you activate it, your rings start counting down. Now, obviously, you can collect more rings as you go. But that's something I missed in later Sonic games, especially. Games like the adventure games and stuff like that. You can't just run around as Super Sonic. In, in fact, you don't even earn your emeralds. You just got them through the story. And I'll probably do a Let's Play for those two, because they're not bad games. But th there are things I missed. Being able to be Super Sonic at any point. Instead, they just made him part of uh, story mode. I'm hoping I don't end up having it happen, but he can be crushed if I accidentally get stuck under something. You also notice the supersonic, I don't have to rev up to go through a wall. Oh, I love watching that. He's not even really running, his legs are just moving. Oh, time to go down, gotta remember that one. Yeah, that's the only problem that I have with, uh... Super Sonic in any of the Sonic games. Oh, this is the only song you hear while you're doing it. Is the invincibility music. And I, for one, just doing this in, uh, in a level, would like to have the level music still. Nah, it's okay, we don't need that. Now normally with this boss, you have to dodge all the spikes. Yeah, dodge all the spikes. Uh, I believe it's Knuckles, they even added this thing where if you play as him, they uh, make a little platform that you have to take care of. Thank you, Tails! Oh wow, Tails, you're being fantastic today. Well, we don't want the fire shield right away, so let's... It's set up with some electricity. This uh, level also has one of the more unique uh, boss fights at the end. Makes a little appearance here. You can't beat him here, but he uh, messes up the level a bit for you. So you have to run through curtains. Yeah, see, like, that part fell. It's supposed to be Robotnik's dr using a drilling machine to mess up parts of the ruins. I love how he's gone down here in order to, like, restore the Death Egg. But I guess he figured while he's here, he might as well cause some havoc just for the fun of it. Because I can't find any real reason he'd be drilling all over this place if all he's trying to do is get his station back up and running. And that's part of the, uh, the plot to this. I think I mentioned it before. Was, uh... From so this is immediately after Sonic 2. Oh, by the way, if you collected all seven Chaos Emeralds, those rings, instead of becoming special stages, will just immediately give you 50 rings. Uh, at the end of Sonic 2, you destroy his battle station, Death Egg. It's this orbital battle station that, uh, it's actually pretty awesome. It's uh, an obvious spoof of the Death Star from Star Wars, but I like the scope of what Robotnik's doing with it. And, and in that one, you crash it. it you blow it up. Well, you don't blow it up, it, it, obviously, otherwise it would crash. But, in this one, it's crashed on this floating island, you're trying to both stop Robotnik from ruining this island, getting a hold of the, uh, Master Emerald, which is where in the series the Master Emerald got introduced. But, you're trying to destroy his, uh, battle station once and for all. And 
At some point for you guys, I might go into playing Son the Sonic 4 games. Uh, the second one is kind of an interesting plot where he brings the Death Egg back, and it ties into Sonic CD. Sonic CD I definitely would play. It is one of my favorites. Technically, I didn't even have to do that, because uh, Super Sonic can just destroy the wall. That's one thing I wish that uh, they would have changed for here, is to either give uh, it like less repetitive Super Sonic music, or let the level music continue with Super Sonic. I try to talk as much as I can during that, just to, so it's uh, not so repetitive. We're almost to the point where we will uh, fighting the boss. Here is appearing again. I'm glad I'm supersonic for this part because this is more like a race against time. This whole part of the level is coming crashing down, and you don't want to be around when that happens. Everything starts moving down, you can see it. It's supersonic, it makes this part pretty easy, but the first time I played this when I was like a kid and this game had first come out, this part was actually kind of uh, annoying. This has to be my most played game of my childhood. Ah, now we're in the actual Robotnik boss fight. This part's fun. Not gonna completely dish him out there. <laughs> Tails helped me out. But this boss fight, if you're even even not supersonic, it's really fun. You're uh, being carried around by Tails, which is really cool. And if you're playing as Tails, you actually have to... Let me see if I can do it here. Yeah! You have to hit him using Tails' as little heller. Oh, and we're almost done for this one. Having beaten Robotnik in the uh, Marble Zone. And the next one's going to be kind of fun. The Carnival Night Zone, which is the next level. It's not the best level in the game, but it's pretty colorful. It's pretty fun. I'll see you guys in the next episode. We're going to continue with this one when we do that, obviously. See you guys next time and have fun.